The Keyhawks picked up their first win of the season in week number three, and making the long bus trip down to Springville, but getting a 52 to 23 win. Uh, Coach Chad Winters joining us. It was a long trip, but a happy trip home, I'd imagine, Coach. Yes, most most definitely. Um, played played pretty well, especially in the second half. Got some things cleaned up uh, that that we didn't execute very well in the first half. Um, didn't didn't change a lot of play calling. It was just execution got significantly better so hopefully the young guys are taking that step forward that we wanted them to and um, anytime you go on a bus ride for two hours and 15 minutes and come home with a win it's always a it's always a good trip home what do you credit uh, for uh, making things uh, click on a Friday night uh, at the point of attack the blocking just got a lot better uh, we weren't sustaining blocks like we needed to um, not getting to the next level like we needed to backs back saw holes saw cutback lanes open up able to hit them on some big plays um uh, pretty much all throughout that third quarter that blew the game open um kind of what we're looking for kind of make sure that they took that next step and and execute at the level that we know that they can um, now they just need to do it consistently and based on what you just said uh, 316 yards on the ground last friday night that doesn't happen without the things you just touched on correct Correct. Correct. Any, anytime you run the ball 50 times, 300 plus yards, uh, obviously things are, things are working up front at, in all aspects of the position groups with guys getting to do what they need to do. And, and like I said, we just need to carry that over into next week. It wasn't like uh, running the football was the only thing you uh, did. Uh, Dalton Mutterman and Jackson Schulte connected three times for scores through the air. What made your passing game uh, work last Friday? kind of go hand in hand with one another. Um, a lot of the passes that, that we scored on were, were play action passes. You're able to successfully run the ball like that. DBs, linebackers are coming forward, coming forward, maybe not locking into their key reads as, as good as they should. And all of a sudden the guy's got to step on them. And sometimes that's all it takes. And we're able to take advantage of those, those opportunities when they arose and put the ball where they needed to and able to break a tackle here and there. And all of a sudden, were thrown for three touchdowns and defensively uh, seven tackles for a loss uh, two sacks uh, three takeaways uh, discuss their effort and uh, what made it a successful night on that side of the ball we always talk about controlling the line of scrimmage not just defensively but offensively too and and the guys up front did a real good job of that um, Tom Trundle had a handful of tackle for losses. I know Jacob Rolfs was in on that. Um, Carson Strong kind of plugging up the middle. Kind of starts with those three guys um, attacking their positions, keeping those linebackers free to, to get downhill and make tackles. Collective group. Um, we did miss a couple tackles here and there, but it was a much cleaner effort than what what we had the previous Friday night. And, and that's what that's the growth you want to see from week to week. And the uh, next two weeks, uh, you're facing opponents that weren't originally on the schedule, but you were able to fill your, your schedule as you literally come down to my neighborhood uh, this week as you take on uh, Janesville. What do you expect out of the Wildcats? Uh, well, first of all, just huge thanks to Coach Eastman. I mean, they, they didn't have to take on this game. They already played a week zero game. So um, their schedule is full. They're, they're playing an extra game this year. So uh not everybody would do that. Uh, he, he's got the right interest in mind in regards to kids just being able to have that high school football experience. So really appreciate Coach Eastman doing that for us. Anytime you go to Janesville, you know you're in for a tough physical football game. They always have athletes. Um, they are a little banged up. Uh, Eastman kid didn't play last week against Tripola. Um, obviously, we're preparing for him like he's going to be there. He, senior quarterback, obviously, you take – take a kid like that away from a team and, and they're going to struggle a little bit. Um, so if he's back, obviously they're a, they're a much more dynamic, um, diverse offense to, to defend against. All right, coach, hopefully you can make it to two wins in a row this week. Keep your kids healthy. We wish best of luck. Thank you very much, Darren. Chad Winters, head coach of the Keyhawks, Keyhawks at Janesville here in week number four.